Hello, my name is Emmanuel Marte. I'm one of the authors of the article of robot development for educational purposes, advanced in unreal and simulation environments. We have Professor Jago Santos and Professor Jose Lima. Simulations have increased in numbers thanks to the development made to the computers. Nowadays, they are used in universities and schools to help with teaching kids and other apparatus to help children and students learn how to better build, control, and manage robots. They are used in factories to help with the assembly line, and they are even used in hospitals. The program that we chose was SIM2. It is a realistic simulator with a very powerful physics sense, very easy to use, and it allows to create robots from drones, small cars, RC, even to humanoid robots. In our case, we start by designing a map that the robot is going to go around. After that, we design the robot itself. Design the robot using the language that is provided by the program. Later, we start the programmation of the robot. In this part, we design the program itself to take inputs from the outside via the keyboard and from the robot itself from the program. After that, we run some simulations. These results are shown in various graphs, X, Y graphs, that allow us to see the position of the robot, the angle of the robot, and very other variables. After completing a series of simulations, 